Munger St. Paul's manager Liam Cronin after an exhilarating game against Corsi Rovers just didn't have enough in the end. Yeah, just didn't have enough, I suppose. Look, we got off to a difficult enough start. Uh, I'd say you could tell that we were the team that had a break for six weeks without making excuses for ourselves. But uh, over the course of the hour, I just think once we settled, we had more than enough chances to win it. Uh, I'd say our wide tally won't, won't make for pretty viewing. But look, I'm so, so proud of the boys. Uh, their fourth quarter performance was just incredible. Like they, they, they showed to everyone, but to themselves, and more importantly, what they're really capable of. You know? And it, it was in the midst of losing key players. But look, I, I'm not going to make excuses. I'm just so proud of the boys uh, in terms of their effort. They really died on the pitch, on, on the pitch today for us. Yeah, you don't want to make excuses, but you could see there probably was a bit of sloppiness in your play in the first half that probably proved detrimental in the end. Yeah, I, I, so, and, and that's just it, I suppose. Look, the, the type of game that we want to play in terms of really valuing possession and trying to build play from the back, like when you're not kind of, I suppose, at championship intensity, you know, that little bit of sloppiness can come into play. And look, certainly, I, I think there was a stat there in, in the second quarter where they had five shots and four of them came from us turning the ball over. So uh, that did cost us a little bit, you know. And you pushed all the way, you eventually got level, but you just couldn't find that leading score and it probably proved the difference in the end. Yeah, and look, and, and that's just it. Like it, was, it was incredible to get back level at full time and we spoke about the importance of trying to get ahead in, in the first half of extra time. And again, we still had the chances, but unfortunately we probably weren't accurate in, in front, enough in front of goals today, where, whereas they probably were more accurate than us. And you were talking about there with a minute ago, but the pride you must have in the boys, they were down by six, looked down and out, but they kept the game plan, kept going, and eventually found a deserved level. Yeah, uh, absolutely. You know, and, and look, they, they genuinely look after us winning the county final when we did get back together. The boys were so hell bent on, on representing Limerick w w with pride, and that was part of was of our, of our motivating factor today. That we really wanted to represent both the club and the county, and I think, uh, particularly in, in the second half there, uh, and even in extra time when things were going against us, I, I think none, none of us stepped back. And it's obviously going to hurt for a while, but when you look back at the year as a whole, you got over the line eventually. It would be a very positive like look back on the year. Hundred uh, percent, absolutely. You know, uh, like there's no question, without doubt, our number one goal and our only goal for the year was to make sure that Mungut were a senior club in 2022, and we've achieved that. Uh, that's not saying that this won't be a bitter pill to take. It will take a couple of weeks to to get over it, but. Uh, the boys can be incredibly proud of, of, of the year that they put down. They've worked exceptionally hard. Uh, I've been involved with a lot of teams at a lot of different levels, uh, and the boys were just incredible in terms of anything the management team asked. They, they absolutely went for it.